What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here. And you remember a couple years ago, I did a basic beginner's guide on how to water cool your computer. Well, here it is. Um, unfortunately, it's in some serious disrepair and actually some stuff going on in here. I wanna take a look at the inside. You can see this uh, inlet completely, this is the inlet to the reservoir to the pump, completely collapsed on itself. So I'm expecting this block to be completely gunked up. But this is actually like an old Athlon X4. It's a very low watt part. And actually the owner said that it never even overheated and stuff, which I believe because it's such a low wattage part. But, you know, one of the best things we can do around here is, you know, take care of these computers and provide tech support for friends and family, but it's also in serious need for an update. So we're gonna kind of do two birds with one stone here. We're gonna take this loop out, we're gonna look inside of it, and then we're gonna build a whole new system to just deal with this. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it apart and see what's inside. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, and whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. Easy to use templates make creating an online identity even easier and doesn't require any coding or programming. And with its all in one platform, you never need to install, patch, or upgrade anything. Need a domain too? Well, Squarespace has you covered there with their hassle free domain transfer, registration, and management. Squarespace empowers millions of websites across thousands of different industries for people just like you. So get started today by heading to squarespace.com and starting your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jace2cents and save 10% off your purchase of a website or a domain. Fortunately, I can get this loop out in one piece because I don't want to have to disassemble this inside of the system. But you can see at the bottom of this reservoir how it's all kind of black and gunky. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that is. I mean, it could be growth. Normally growth has a little bit more of a green color to it, not this sort of a black color. But I have a, whoops, there goes a bracket. I have a feeling that what is inside the loop, or at least inside the block that has completely clogged it up is the same stuff as this. But we're gonna be completely building a new system. The only thing that's really gonna get kind of transferred over here is the hard drive. So there's a thermal paste. Thermal paste looks all right. I mean, didn't expect it not to be. So here's our loop. See, comes out in one piece. So here's the XSPC block. We can actually just take an Allen key and undo these four and then see what's going on inside the block. But first I have to drain it. Here's all that gunk I was talking about right here. I'm pretty sure that's what inside the block looks like. And one thing to point out though is uh, this owner actually has a few dogs and you can see that as much as we tried to clean this out, listen to that fan. That one's completely dried up. This one's completely seized up. Um, it's important to really dust out your systems as often as you can. If you have pets or you smoke or you vape or whatever near your computer, then you're accelerating the level of which the degradation can happen to your fans right here. These are old Yate Loon fans. They were used when I gave them to him. But um, yeah, he's also a disabled veteran, so I'm not expecting him to get down and crawl around all the time and clean this off. But I'm just wanting to kind of show you what long-term use with a pet environment actually looks like on fans and stuff. He would have noticed this a lot sooner had he had a more powerful chip that would have actually noticed when it was getting cooling issues. So if you guys are wondering what this loop was, this was just a distilled water with PT Nuke mix. This was not a fluid, uh, like a premix or a concentrate. This was just straight up distilled water. I mean, the tubes collapsed on themselves and then just sort of never came back. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> exactly what I expected to see. Ooh, that looks like doo-doo. Ooh, completely clogged. It's even solidified. So that's why there was no more water flow going through there. Look at that. This could probably be cleaned even, if you wanna know the truth. Like, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna even try. That's pretty built up in there. Could probably wire brush that, but what's the point? I mean, this, this water block is so old. We're just gonna go ahead and do this quickly. We are gonna build a new computer from scratch because it's time. This computer was, the CPU and, and RAM and stuff that he got at the time was near end of life. And that was back in 2012 when we built the motherboard, the RAM and the CPU. The graphics card I updated for him last year, but, uh, or maybe a year before. Jeez, time flies. All right, let's do it.
So here we go, his new tower up and running. It's got a GTX 980 Ti. It's got an i5 7600K with an ASRock Gaming K6 Fatality Z270 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, a brand new power supply, and uh, obviously we've got our EVGA 240 millimeter AIO cooler in there, so it has to worry about gunk and stuff building up in another custom loop, making this a lot more maintenance free and a lot more easy for him to maintain. And like I say, he's a disabled vet, so I don't want him to get down, crawl around on the ground or whatever, trying to take care of this. So you might've noticed too, I installed the power supply upside down, so it's pulling air from this sh vented shroud right here rather than the floor, because the first thing I asked him, especially after cleaning out the other case, is will it be on carpet or on a desk? And he said it's going to be down on the floor on carpet. So I don't want it pulling up dirt and dust. And uh, even though he does not, he's not gonna let the animals in that room, it's you know how animals are and hair and all that, it will get in everywhere in the house. So I don't want it sucking any of that dirt up into the power supply, so we inverted it. But as you guys can see, oh, and the case obviously here is a, uh, Define C from Fractal Design. It's a tempered glass edition, so it has a tempered glass side panel. You can see in there a huge upgrade from his previous build, which was like an Athlon X4, I think it was, DDR3, and it was certainly a dated system. So now he can play just about any game he wants at high resolution, high settings. I want him to be able to just max the settings out, and that's what he can do now. So anyway guys, I just wanted to get, bring you guys this video and show you kind of what happens with a soft tube loop that gets clogged up and gets gunky and uh, give you guys more ammunition to be like, this is why you shouldn't water cool. But you know what, doesn't matter. That's what we do around here. We love water cooling and I'm going to always advocate it. But we did an AIO in this one to make it as much a, less hands-on as possible. Anyway guys, we're gonna go. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.